This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me, and I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Artificial intelligence. To most of us, the term is vague, maybe even a little scary. But the truth is, you don't have to be a computer scientist to study artificial intelligence. At LIU, we have a program that is accessible, that takes advantage of a variety of different backgrounds, majors, and interests that people bring to the table. It's one of the top five areas for job growth. But what is artificial intelligence? In 1950, computer scientist Alan Turing gave us a definition. If a person were typing into a computer, and at the other end could either be a computer or a human, but that person couldn't tell the difference which, it's giving a computer system the ability to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. In 1956, John McCarthy coined the term at a conference for artificial intelligence, but the ideas behind artificial intelligence were probably born in 1945 through Vannevar Bush's article, As We May Think, that was published in the Atlantic Magazine on the back of what was happening in World War II, where science was being mobilized for great destruction. And as a reaction to that mobilization of science toward war, fear and fantasy were the ideas behind artificial intelligence. In 1968, we had a space odyssey with supercomputer HAL taking over a spaceship. In 1982, we had the replicants of Blade Runner. In 1983, in war games, supercomputer Whopper almost caused a global thermonuclear conflict. Wouldn't you prefer a good game of chess? In 1984, we saw the rise of the Terminator, born of Skynet. In 1999, those of us who took the red pill saw the Matrix for what it really was. And most recently, Ex Machina and Westworld. But what is AI really? Today, it's the natural language processing behind Alexa and Siri and the many chatbots. It's blueberries, potatoes. In the old world, hundreds of workers hovering over conveyor belts to check the color palettes and imperfections of blueberries could now be done by software. Artificial intelligence is driverless cars. It's saving the environment. In an example of what's called unsupervised learning, pattern recognition is brought to bear to assess chemical properties of microplastics found in the ocean. Artificial intelligence is affecting business, pharmacy, genetics, health science. Three factors have made developments in artificial intelligence possible. Massive increases in data, increases in storage capacity, and better, faster computational architectures. This is happening quickly. So get on board the fast track to this growing field of opportunity. Come to LIU and be at the forefront of AI learning.